Hi, my name is John Stewart and welcome to Cello Chat. Today we're going to talk about articulation. Now you can divide up most cello playing into long notes or legato or short notes, martelle, spiccato, staccato. So we're going to talk a little bit about a little today about how to create short notes. Now, when creating a short note on the cello, you can divide the 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 note into two sections. One of them is what I call the attack, and then the other is what I call the decay. And you really need both of these elements in order to create a, uh, let's say, a martelle stroke, which is the one we'll study today. So what you want to do is you want to start off by putting the bow in the middle, uh, putting the, the bow down in the middle, and pulling the string silently back and forth. So now you're allowing the weight of your arm to go into the string and see how far you can pull the string back and forth without making a real sound on it, okay? I call this the set position because my bow is set and ready. Now, as soon as the bow, as soon as you move the bow, you're gonna release most of the weight like this, right? Right? So now we get to the decay part of it. Now, when, when we pull the bow, we want to release most of the weight. However, we don't want the bow to come off the string for now like this. That's a little difficult to control and that's another stroke. But, we're, you know, we, what we want to do is release most of the weight but still maintain some contact with the string. Okay? Now, one really common mistake that I see with uh, uh, beginners when they start playing the instrument and they reach short notes is they choke on the decay. So they, they maintain the weight all the way through and you get something like this. Right? It sounds a little uh, choked. Now, the accent is very important but also the decay is very important too. Do you hear the difference? So a really good exercise is to go ahead and, and, and do uh, this martelet exercise on every string, right? And on the D and the A as well, right? And until you feel really comfortable with it. Then the next level is to do this within scale. So let's say you're doing a C major scale, you might do four martelet beats per pitch. So you might go, first finger, right? And you want to achieve a good solid pa. Let's think of it that way on the on the accent. So it's pa, pa, not a wa, wa, wa is not good. If you're getting a wa sound, that means uh, you're not really uh, activating the string or really biting the string. You want like a firecracker beginner beginning on that note, right? So once you go through the scales that way, then that's very good. Try this also. Do martellate all the way through the bow, going through the tip, like this. <laughs> and what you'll discover very quickly is to get good articulation at the tip, you really have to direct the weight a little bit more. So that the, you also want to get nice, clean uh, beginnings uh, of the notes at the upper part of the bow as well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for your time um, on this episode of Cello Chat.